Resonate 2 you know, was just published in the New England Journal and I would say that's a uh, land-breaking paper because even though the study used a very, it's a phase 3 study, it used a, a very, very weak control regimen, clarambicil, and you know, really you could have used any therapy that we give in CLL and the results would have been the same because the abrutinib patients have done phenomenal. There have been very, very few progressions. The survival curve is essentially, you know, is essentially flat and you know, it looks like a survival curve of patients um, that are age matched without CLL. Um, you know, the study again showed we see atrial fibrillation and some um, side effects with ibrutinib, probably in some a little bit more common than clarambicil, uh, but it's manageable in most and it's really a paradigm changing study. It led to the FDA approval for marketing in the U.S. I think, you know, just a, couple, a week and a half ago. And for my practice, it'll be, you know, say, I'll be looking at my CLL patients, you know, really asking why I'm not going to use ibrutinib versus versus you know which patient am I going to use ibrutinib because it because the results just really look good and you know and you know something that I think is going to really change completely the landscape of how we treat CLL in the US